Hi everybody, my name's Chris, and uh, thank you for rejoining me. My bench is back where it belongs, which is great, and I've had a little tidy up, so we're ready to go. Now, my last video, my workshop tour video, for those of you who have checked that out, I'm so sorry it came in at 40 minutes again. I seem incapable of making a video that's less than half an hour long, but I'm really going to try with this one. I had absolutely no intention of that being as long as it was, but it is what it is. Um, so what I've got going on today is I'm currently doing a job where I am repaneling underneath a staircase. Now I've been asked to create a fixed panel and then a panel access door which will then grant access to the gas um, meter, electricity meter and stuff which is uh, located underneath the staircase. So I've already got the fixed panel in place in situ and uh, what I'm going to do here in the workshop today is uh, create the, the, the panel door which will obviously be angled to follow the profile of the staircase and I'm going to show you how I do that so stick around. Right just to give you a quick visual idea about what we're doing so I've got my two styles so obviously the staircase gets lower as it runs to that end, so we've got a shorter, shorter style and a longer style. And our bottom rail and our top rail, which obviously follows the angle of the staircase. So it's something in that kind of area is what we're looking at. Okay, so first of all, get rid of those. So these are our two outside faces, so for the joinery, the mortise and tenons we're going on the inside faces, so we'll turn that one out, turn that one out and bring those together. So we clamp our styles together, we take our bottom rail, flush it to the bottom of the style and just mark it. Right, so we've now got our two mortises marked out in the black areas as you can see there and then room for a haunch there. We're going to go, we're not going all the way through, we'll go about two thirds, so somewhere around there. Let's see how deep that is. So around about 28 mil. Yeah, 28 minutes. So, mortar. Right, so we've got our two uh, mortises now. I'm just going to chop away the material for the haunch and uh, we can uh, move on with making tenons.
Right, so our mortises are done. Let's do some tenons. So, how deep are our mortises? About 25 mil. So let's make our tenons about 24. So that's 24 mil for a tenon. Now I know that my get my overall distance needs to be 519 millimeters. From inside to inside at corner. Plus another tenon at 24. So that is the overall length of our bottom rail.
Right, so now we've got our frame that fits together as it's supposed to. We're now going to run a groove on the inside faces for our 9mm MDF panel to drop into. So let's roll. Groovy. Groovy. You get it. Groovy. Right then, so my door has been glued and clamped up for about 45 minutes now, so my glue has gone off. I've used a polyurethane glue for this, which if you haven't used polyurethane before, it's sort of, um, unlike PVA, it foams slightly. Um, and it fills sort of any gaps and cracks that you may have in your joints. And it, as it dries, it kind of oozes out as it has done here. And that's all fully sort of set now and it's gone hard. So we're ready to take this out of the clamps and what we'll do is we'll just go around our joints clean away with a chisel any any uh, any glue squeeze out and run a plane across the edges just flushing up those surfaces that are slightly off and what I did here I just put a pin I removed these pins I pinned through the back of the door this is going to be a painted finished door so these these holes will be filled and painted over you'll never see them um, I pinned through the because this glue does, um, it forms, it expands, if you don't hold it in place it sort of pushes the joint apart. So that's why those were pinned, so I'll take those pins out, clean these up and um, then we can get on with priming the door and ready for painting. Okay, so we'll call that done. If you've marked everything out and you've cut it all correctly, it should lay on a flat surface without rocking or wobbling. If it does, then you've got a bit of a problem. It won't, it'll be difficult to hang it true and it'll warp and it'll, it won't want to sit where you want it to sit. 
So that is how I make a quick panel, angle panel door frame. Now the rest of it, I've got hinges to go on here. Opens that way. Handles to go on. I've got um, some beading, which will go around the inside just to break those corners. It needs painting, but I'll do all that on site. Now, I wanted this video to be sort of semi-quick. I didn't want it to go on for 30, 40 minutes, as I seem to usually do. So I hope we're under 20 minutes. Thanks for watching. Now I've got to go hang this. I'll see you next time.